So, um, we get lots of questions about what do I need to do to learn uh, or prepare for my certified arborist exam. All right, so we've already talked about the, the basics, the fundamentals, what you want to know if you're going to get into the industry and actually work in the field, do the tree climbing, the cutting, the rigging, the aspects of the prescription side of things, or you're the homeowner. So first thing you need, if you want to uh, take the test and pass the test, you really need to get the Arbor Certification Study Guide. It's a 200 question test. They've made it more difficult, um, in my opinion, better over the years. If you have a degree in forestry or, you know, biology, urban forestry, things of that nature, horticulture, you could probably just take this test and pass it. But for most of us, we have this study guide and that's what this is. This is a study guide that kind of lets you know of the, in the domains, what you need to study for. So you certainly need this. It's available in both English and Spanish versions. All right. And then back to the, the basics. Jeff Jefferson's Tree Climbers Companion. You're gonna for sure wanna have that. That's something that'll be a resource you'll study. Knots at Work by Jeff Jefferson will also cover most of what you need to know for the, the climbing, the safety domain. The Z133, th this is the, uh, the Bible, quote unquote, for arboriculture. These are the, our safety guidelines that you know professionals adhere to. You're gonna to wanna to have that as a resource. That'll be a lot of what's on the test. And then obviously you can't have, as we stated before, too many books on knots. Not just to pass the test, but for your own evolution and, and betterment in, in the industry. Alright, so some other stuff. Um, Alex Shigo did great work. Uh, absolutely, if you're serious about this as a, as a profession, the studies that he did, that's the information you're going to want. Modern Arboriculture is, is a book that, you know, it's going to be a resource, particularly for this test. A New Tree Biology, absolutely. Another one that won't really cover on the test, I have this book, it's a book that I wanted for a long time, The Body Language of Trees by Klaus Matek. Excellent resource. He, he, he's a very intelligent individual and gone into the physics of trees and the growth, you know, the compression, the tension, the fibers. This is a book that you want. Long before the track certification, uh, Nelda Matheny and uh, James Clark, this was a course that we took, Evaluation of Hazard Trees in Urban Areas. This is a good primer and it kind of gets you an understanding of decay and trees and how they grow in the environment. Evaluating Tree Defects. Another great book by Ed Hayes. Certainly one that would be a resource to help you with that test. Um, you know, part of the test and you know, when we're looking at dendrology and how to understand identifying trees, the, the picture plates are great. You know, there's a variety of books. The Audubon, Audubon books are great. Taylor's Guide to Trees is good. Certainly books that are geographically specific to your area are helpful. All right. You want to have that, but also having the biology of trees and understanding how they grow, how the wood and the rays and everything. That's a book. Another one, Shigo book and some type of book about the identification terminology, knowing what ovate is, ovate, all the different, when they describe elliptical buds, you know, opposite, alternate. That's a book that you're gonna to wanna to have. So we sell a lot of these books, okay? A lot of them are available on Amazon. That's a great resource. Landscape below ground, we're talking about soils. Another good resource. Now a book that, uh, that actually helps a lot with specifically studying for the <coughs> excuse me tree climber certification as well as certified arborist is a tree climber's guide by Sharon Lilly. This is another good resource, another place for you to get some information. So any of the BMPs, which is best management practices for arboriculture, in, in my opinion, these are three for the working arborist that you, 
you really kind of want to have to use as guidelines as you develop more experience. And that's tree planting, our tree support systems, which is cabling, bracing, guying, and propping, and our BMP for tree pruning. Now on the note of tree pruning, one of the biggest responsibilities that we have as tree workers is the removal is easy. You rig it out, you don't damage anything, you do a great job, everybody go home safe, all the evidence is gone. Improper pruning is one of the worst abiotic disorders that exists on the planet, and it's us that caused that. So any, any information you can get on tree care and tree pruning, and again, we go back to Alex Shigo. These are good resources. This tree care primer is from the Brooklyn Botanic Gardens. It's actually a great book. Really diving down the rabbit hole of super specifics in pruning, this is, is a good resource for shrubs, conifers, and trees by George Brown. And again, we go back to Alex Shigo, tree pruning basics. Must have, in my opinion. And that, that kind of gets you started on what you need to pass that certified arborist exam. And there, there's uh, something to mention on that note. Passing the test, you're not done. The way they have that program set up is you continually get continuing education units in the program and you become better and better and better and better as you go on your career. So that's kind of a, an overview of if you want to get serious about getting your certified arborist. And then also another excellent resource is from Dr. Ed Gilman at the University of Florida. And we'll have that link up on this video. An excellent resource for pruning of all types from, and, and not just pruning, but also planning. Um, and we'll have that, that link set up there great resource when you're learning, when you're teaching, and when you're continuing to evolve in your aspects of pruning and tree care and that nature, that's a good resource.